Third stage. Miela Bahar Hashem, Miyakum Kam Kachel. And now it continues and it continues. First off, friends, I hope I've framed the question for you. And I encourage everybody to jump into this question and think about it. Like, what is the Avoda? What does an Evod Hashem do now? What is someone who wants to learn? What does a Steiger do now? I'll just offer some thoughts, some musings. Really, when I started to think about this question, the main sefer that came to mind was the Holy Tanya and Perikhov Zion. And he speaks about a different situation, but I think it's applicable. Let me share a little bit of what he says. The Tanya is talking to who he calls a Bainani, uh, a middle-level person that's not a Tzaddik. Now, you have to understand a little bit of terminology. Tzaddik and the Tanya means someone who doesn't even think about doing an Averis, much less doing an Avera. A Bainani doesn't do Averis either, but he does think about doing Averis. And they come to him, even Machshavah's Nuz, think about doing things that are on a low level. And he's bothered by that. And he gets the Atzus about this. And he gets the sadness about this. And this is the question that the Holy Tanya tackles and tries to give solace to the Bainini perspective. So he basically says like this, you Bainini are sad that these thoughts come to you. How can I think such things? And after so long, I'm an old man, maybe I have a long gray beard, you know, or perhaps thoughts to hurt people or to do illicit acts. How could I, how could I come to such a machshava? So he says, you shouldn't have answers for this. You should understand that this is your avoda. And it might be your avoda, Zos, avoda Sabani, might be what the Rosh wants from you for your whole life. To fight off these machshavas, to stand on top. And even though it's unpleasant, you'd rather be the tzaddik who never thinks about doing anything wrong and his whole life is a shalashudas and a song and you're in the trenches. And after all these years, you continue being in the trenches. But that's your avoda. And not only is that your avoda, it causes great joy to the Rebbe Hashem when you do your avoda. And when you stand up to those tavot, to those bad machshavas, and you push them away, sure, that causes great light down here and above, and the whole world is a better place, and you cause unique light. And more about that and applying it to our situation next time.